coming right along with today's journey. If you are, let's fasten your seatbelt and that's coming right, right along. You want to let him in? Sit in here? Yeah, that's good. He's kind of busy eating some burritos yet. We, uh, <clears throat> was stopped here at the rest area. Well, as we always say, they got McDonald's at just about every place, right? No different over here, so. Well, went inside and got us a few burritos. And I wasn't really hungry, so I only had three of them. And gave, I, I ordered four, but he's taking the other one. So he's still eating them. <laughs> but yeah. Looks like a gorgeous morning out here today. Nice and hot again, <laughs> like it is every day over here. Like it has been last week and a half, I guess, but... But yeah, we're making our way towards Kansas City, Missouri. Yes, indeed. 220 miles to go to our pickup. Yes, indeed. GPS says I should be there quarter to 12. They told me I could pick up anytime between 1 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so... So yeah, we should still be there early enough. I figure I didn't want to leave too early, so that way I'm just sitting around over there, or... I don't really want to show up at their place too early either, you know, if they're telling me between 1 and 3. Then I want to respect that and be there around that time. But yeah, let's make our way down there. And I appreciate you guys still tuning in today. After the last couple of days have been a bit crappy videos. And I was really mad, you know, I got that Thermal King. So as I said yesterday evening, I finished that day a video there yesterday evening. And uh, released it right away to the public. It's not seven days behind that one, but... But uh, yeah, felt good getting that off of my chest. Now I feel a lot better. And gotten a bunch of good comments on it. There's a few people that disagreed with me, but that's all right. That's the way it is. There's always going to be people that disagree with you, but whatever. I feel much better. And I I felt betrayed or I felt treated wrongly, wrongfully. And I still do. I still think it was wrong what they did, so... So anyways, uh, enough of that, let's move on. And uh, let's have ourselves better days from now on. Looks like we got us a chicken coop coming up here, but I don't see no sign saying open or closed. That sign right there is completely black. So they are definitely not open, but it looks like the opposite side is open. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But, uh, yeah, we're only about 36 more miles to our pickup. So that means we're coming up to Kansas City, Kansas right now. Yeah, we got to go all the way to the other side. To where it's Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, that's right. We got three hours of driving behind us already. So that's a good... Uh, good day already we've been just giving her since this morning so we're gonna go over there and find out if they are willing to take us right away as soon as we get there I know on the satellite it says uh, between 1 and 3 but I'm probably gonna be there about 10 o'clock so I mean 10 o'clock 12 o'clock so we'll find out what they got to say and if they're wanting to put us in a door or not, right? But let's go find out and see what happens. Hey guys, have you ever seen a pro back up? Well, this is one. You see that? He's backing up like a pro. Do you guys recognize that truck? I don't know if you do, but that is trucker jukebox, ladies and gentlemen. You see that? He made it in, eh? No problem, just like a pro. Yeah, he made it in here just like a pro, ladies and gentlemen. I think he's a very good backer-upper. Yeah, look at that, guys. 
There he is. Yeah. Come on in down there, jukebox. Yeah, man. Where you been? Hey. <laughs> Come on in. Hey, don't lose your shoe, eh? <laughs> no, not mine. <laughs> I gotta get a camera off my ICC one. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. We got the whole family in here today. And I'm talking about <laughs> these guys. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, look at that. We got the whole gang over here. We got our stew ready. We're going to give this a taste test. I think that was pretty good. No, you got to test oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have no problem with that. Yeah. It's going to be hot, though. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Is good. Yeah, that there is you go. Good. So we'll get to eating and then uh, we'll chat a little bit later. Well, guys, we have just finished. Well, what do we say? Lunch, dinner? That was dinner for me. Yeah, that's what I figured that too. That was two plate dinner. So. <laughs> yeah. so, what do you say? What's the verdict on it? Well, what word am I trying to look for? It was delicious. There you go. Yeah, he asked me if I was speaking the truth. Yeah, it was good. It, I've had stew here in the U.S. where it, you know you put carrots and potatoes and uh, beef and of course it's got a touch of brown gravy texture yeah. to it and stuff. So this is the first time I've had stew like this. Oh, okay. But it was good. Cool. Was, I think I learned something to cook in my first. I think I go. can cook something like that. Oh yeah, it's fairly simple. Yeah. I mean, not hard to do and you don't need a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, if you got onion, green peppers, red peppers and a little bit of cut up beef meat or whatever and you're good to go and you just pretty much cook it together yeah it was good oh, yeah. yeah i got uh, i usually buy them little cans of tomato uh sauce that got the garlic in there yeah i put uh usually if i just do for me then i just use a half a half a can or whatever and... well i was always told that if it's a meal that sticks to your ribs the real test will be see how long i can go before i get hungry <laughs> Right? right? Have you had meals where yeah. an hour, you know, it's yeah. like, Especially fish. Yeah. Uh, you know, two hours down the road, you're starting to get hungry. Yeah. So, I'll be honest with you guys on my video. I'll let you guys know if I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I still got four hours, 17 minutes before, I, before I'm at my... And we got this... This guy parked in so front he, of us here. He's been there for a good long while. Yeah, he's been here for at least half an hour. I hope he ain't in, like, taking a shower. Or... No, I seen him in there. I seen him in there, but we'll go see here in a minute if he's still in there. Yeah. Diego is just finishing cleaning everything up here a little bit, and, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll make our way out of here. I know we we didn't uh, we don't have a whole lot of footage of uh, each other, but no, hey. this this wasn't really planned, really. Well, it's yeah, exactly. what, a few hours, well, a few hours before I got here. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. We well, talked we you know. talked about it, but we didn't know if it was going to happen. Well, yeah, because, I mean, I didn't know how fast I was going to get loaded over here either, right? Yeah. So, that was the next thing, but, <laughs> but yeah, we and got I, it got it I, done. And I told everybody on video we might be bumping into somebody. There I didn't want to say exactly. Until yeah, I yeah. <laughs> but uh, Rudy's like my brother, man. Uh, I probably got real two good friends in this world for a fact, and that's Scotty Wise and Rudy here. So. I oh, appreciate that. Uh, absolutely. Very much, yeah. Thank you. you. Gotta have them, even though I came to look. Uh, you look fine I look to more me. Like a redneck, you know. That. <laughs> you look fine to me. I look. I look at him. He looks fine to me. Yeah, definitely. We got to meet uh, all three as uh, boys and a girl. Well, oh, two hell, boys. They look and... better than I do. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, anyways, I. Uh, I think we're getting ready to get out of here. So what do you say, Jukebox? Yeah. That's we, we time got, to hit the road? We gotta hit to York. We gotta yeah. Get to York. Definitely. So what do you guys got to say before we go? Keep her between the ditches. Don't tailgate nobody. And don't drive stupid. You'll get caught. Trust me, there's cameras out there. <laughs> you think? Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll get you. <laughs> Yeah, no, we don't try and get anybody in trouble on purpose. We just 
If you do something stupid in front of us. No, wait a minute. Now I gotta correct myself because <laughs> I'm just saying be careful. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And there right. are cameras, and I'm not saying YouTubers, but you know the truth is there's people out there with they got cameras. Things or, like that, right? Right, and uh, you don't want soccer mom that's taking the kid to a thing see a truck driver do something wrong and make us all look bad that's all i'm saying there's people that got cameras you got to watch yourself be careful that's right well thank you very much there mr jukebox oh, for meeting up with me very welcome. and uh well, thank you for the mail oh hey no problem one of these days we're going to have ribs right secretly guys it's better than denny's there you go so we're out of here we'll catch you later Ladies and gentlemen, we have left Kansas City, Missouri here a little while ago. But yeah, we uh, met up with Trucker Jukebox. Yeah, as you saw in the previous video there, we definitely met up with him. That was fun, eh? Oh, very fun. There you go. We got to meet uh, his uh, little kids and stuff like that. That was awesome. We cooked us a stew. That was awesome too. We had a good time. Although we didn't have a whole lot of time, but hey, whatever little bit of time we had, we spent it. Cooked us a little stew and then uh, we went on our way. And he's actually uh, behind us, actually. Yeah. We kind of going into the same direction for a little while, so he's kind of driving behind me right now. But yeah, we're just on our way home now. We got our load on. Took us a little while to get our load on. They wouldn't take us right away when we got there. So we kind of had to wait there for an hour before uh, before we uh, could get start getting loaded. And then I think it took another hour and a half to almost two hours before we were loaded, right? So yeah, it took us a good while, but hey, here we are back on the road again. I mean, we could have probably driven, uh, you know, probably two hours to go, but, you know, I hadn't had a shower in a couple of days, and uh, so we decided, you know what, we had to scale the load anyways, we were there, right there at the Flying J, went inside, and got the load scaled, made sure that was all good, so now we are legal, and I said, well, let's go inside and take us a shower, and, and I kind of knew that Jukebox was going to be in that area soon, you know, so I said, well, let's go take a shower and let's see how far he is. And he told me he was only in, you know, a little bit out. So then uh, we decided on we were going to cook us a stew, and which we did, which you saw in my previous clip. That was awesome. I loved it. But yeah, we still got a little bit of hills up here. We are still in Missouri, Missouri. And we'll be here for a little bit yet, I, I guess, but we're going to try and get another 100 miles in today yet, and then uh, call it a day, and we'll have a big day tomorrow, but we should be able to make our home tomorrow night. Probably going to be a little later tonight, tomorrow night, but we should be home tomorrow night. That's the plan anyways, that's what we're uh, aiming for, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. But anyways, we're going to get out of here. Talk with you guys a little bit later. It is at the end of the day, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's what I figured. I don't think you're going to be able to see much out of the window out of there. But uh, yeah, we are at a rest area. A little bit into Iowa. Yeah, Pacific Junction, I think they call it up here. So, we're just going to call it a night. And get up early tomorrow morning. And what are we going to do? We're going to go home. That's right. You heard it from the man himself. We're going to make it home tomorrow night as far as we know. That's 653 miles to go. So it's going to be a tough one tomorrow, but hey, we got it in us, right, to go home? Oh, yeah. That's what I figured. Oh, yeah. We like it. We're going to be home tomorrow. So let's hear it from the man himself on what he's got to say today. 
If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And maybe check out the website page. The description is, the link is in the description below. And so we'll see you in the next one. All right, you heard it from him. See you guys in the next one right here on Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.